some of you may be familiar with the author Enid Blyton. Enid Blyton wrote the famous Five series. She also retold some classic Bible stories. I'd like to read you one of the stories from the Bible that Enid Blyton retold. This story is called A Little Boat in a Storm, and it's based on Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. One evening, Jesus felt tired. He had been telling the people stories all day long, and now he needed a rest. We will take the boat to the other side of the lake, he said to Peter and the other disciples. Then nobody can follow us. So out on the open lake sailed the fishing boat. Peter put a cushion behind Jesus's head. He saw that his master was very tired. Jesus lay down in the boat and closed his eyes. He felt the waves lifting the boat up and down. He heard the splashing of the water. He was so tired that he fell sound asleep. Do not wake him, said Peter. Let him sleep. The little boat went on and on. The darkness began to fall and the waters of the lake grew purple. Then Peter pointed out something that made him afraid. See, he said, looking up into the darkening sky, see, a great black cloud is blowing over the hills. The wind is rising quickly. A storm is coming. The other disciples looked up at the great cloud. They knew what sharp, sudden storms sometimes blew down on the lake. When that happened, the waves rose high, the wind roared, and any boats on the water were in great danger. Darkness came down. The wind suddenly roared round the boat, which rocked to and fro on the rising waves. Spray blew over the fishermen in the boat, and they peered anxiously into the darkness. Shall we reach the other side in safety, they said to one another. Look, the waves are splashing right into our boat, said Peter in alarm. It will fill with water, it will sink, and we shall all be drowned. Jesus did not wake, even when the waves splashed over him. Peter shook him by the shoulder and shouted in his ear, and the others shouted too. Master, master, we shall be drowned. Save us. Jesus awoke. He looked round into the darkness, heard the roaring wind and felt the foam from the angry waves. He stood up in the swaying boat. Peace, be still, he said to the storm. All at once, the wind sank down to a whisper and the waves no longer rocked the boat, for there came a great calm over the lake. Jesus turned to his disciples, who were so frightened and amazed they could not say a word. Why are you so afraid? asked Jesus. Could you not trust me? Then the disciples said to one another, What kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves bow down before him.